Hello, right morning after the FLA. Um, just wanted to do my thoughts on it, a quick update, uh, how it went. Um, so I've been looking forward to this ages, uh, ever since I saw London um, back in October. It just looked amazing, I couldn't wait. I was very excited to be part of something like this amongst my peeps. Um, watched Brick Girl on the way up and had the wind taken right out of my sails when I found out that um, the FLA had split and now you've now got the DFLA doing a separate march in the same town in a different area and the movement's been divided and and that's, a, that's not what we need. Unity is what we need here. Uh, it's current theme at the moment. The left knows how to unite, uh, the right doesn't. Anyway, the reason for the split is that accusations that John Francis Meehan, who set up the FLA, is taking money, is scamming money from it that should be going to the British Legion. And I don't know how to find it out. Um, she did recommend going to Company's House or government website, which I did. And lo and behold, it's a limited company, which is a for-profit company. So it's hard to argue that he's not in it for the money. I'm not making any accusations. I'm just saying it looks that way. You know, if it looks like a duck, etc., etc. And he is the only person involved in the company. He is director and managing director. So it does, something's definitely rotten in Denmark anyway. Uh, but I'm not a journalist. I don't know how to find stuff out. Uh, there's people out there that might watch this that are probably much better at that sort of stuff. Share it with me or, or you know, do your own channel or, or whatever. Pass, it, pass the information on to someone that's got a lot more people watching their videos than this, this one. Anyway, my experience of the day was overall very, very good. I was nervous. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I was going up on my own. I sort of... Uh, a lot of people I know don't even know what I'm doing. Um, it feels like you keep this stuff a little bit secret. This is my sort of my other life um, on YouTube. Um, but it was great. It was really, really nice. There's a lot of uh, tasty looking fellas. And I don't mean that like I fancy them. I mean like a lot of guys up there that look like, you know, they could take care of themselves. And there'd been a lot of drinking involved. And I was a little bit worried. I was thinking, you know, what's going to happen is if there's like protests at the side, if you've got Antifa or Black Lives Matter or whatever group that wants to go there and hurl abuse at people that are protesting against terrorism, you know, you're thinking, what are these guys going to do? Now, now the only time <clears throat> that I saw anything was uh, near the end, coming through the marketplace, there was obviously quite a few Muslim guys there and some of them were standing right by, you know, arms folded, looking aggressive, maybe making a few comments. And um, you could you could sort of see there was a lot of self-policing being done by guys in the FLA. So one bright little took around and go, what do you want? You know, this. And then his mates pushing him, going, no, 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 it's not what this is about. Walk forwards, you know, like, it's not worth it. And And what I took from that is that even if these guys might on another occasion getting a bit of a dust up with people, what have you, if that's their lifestyle. Not yesterday, not on the FLA, and I was very proud of them. So if any of you guys like you that watch this are thinking, you know, well, yeah, I normally have a bit of a rumble, but it didn't yesterday, thank you. Really, really, it go, it means a lot that the whole thing passed off completely peacefully. The only shame is that it won't then be on the media because nothing happened. And the only way it's going to make the media is if, you know, if there's trouble. You know, you could have 10 people march about transgender, this or what have you, what have you and, you know, the, all the media will be there, like, glorifying it, making it the best thing ever. I'm not having a go at trans people, by the way. Um, but there you got, you know, maybe, I think something like in the whole day, something like 5,000 people have turned up to march peacefully, uh, sing some football songs and and listen to some speeches, have a good time. And it was a very good experience for me. Um, I met Simon, the Reverend Simon Sideways. Saw him there. I thought I'd go up and have a little chat. Uh, I subscribed to him. And he was a really decent guy. Nice bloke. Um, took lots of time to talk to me. Even suggested do something talking together. Uh, like a stream. I'm not sure about that. I think everything I do 
is reading off a page of notes and I don't I don't feel that I know enough about stuff to be able to co uh, contribute but perhaps I should give it a go you know it'd be a good experience for me um on the way back I uh, met some guys at the back of the bus that had been there we had a good chat uh, one of them if you watch this you know who you are you're a nut case oh my god the whole way there it's like th this guy's brain must have just everything in it and the history lesson I got on the the European Union was general history religion politics was crazy and I'm really sorry mate I forgot most of it because you know there's only so much that can stay in my brain um but that was that made the journey back very enjoyable I enjoy I liked it um the next FLA march I'm not sure I heard people saying it might be uh, Manchester I'm guessing in the summer um I won't be going unless this is sorted out, this division. I don't want to be part of, I don't want to be up there and, and feeling like, you know, the, the bigger issue of the day is a squabble between us. We need to be together, show a united front, show the show the left that we're not messing around here. Um, I'll be keeping tabs on Red Pill Phil for that. He, if you don't subscribe to Red Pill Phil and you subscribe to me, what the hell is going on? Um, Red Pill Phil is brilliant. And he goes around these or every single every single march. He's got a Patreon where, where it helps him pay for his pay for his transport and hotels and stuff like that. But he he sends back brilliant um, images and, and uh, interviews. So keep keep tabs on Red Pill Phil for that. And then just the last thing, UKIP for Britain. So there's division there, and it, if that's what it felt like yesterday. I was on the for Britain march. Now I am a member for Britain. I'm paid up. I want them to do well. Uh, I did that based on the fact that I thought the UKIP was going to fall apart. But UKIP hasn't fallen apart. UKIP probably looks quite strong, maybe stronger than for Britain. And I don't want my vote to be wasted. So if anyone watches this that, that, that's that got any influence on those people, that knows any of them, tell them that, and I'm probably not the only person, a lot of people are saying this, get together, sort out your differences. You know, reach out to each other and pull together. Because if you can do that, then people are going to love it. You're not, Anne Marie, if you ever watch this, if you can go back to UKIP and, you know, in a senior role and take and accept that because that's for the best thing, because then all these votes will come together and will mean something. Otherwise, all these votes going to UKIP and for Britain should probably have gone to the Conservatives, even though they keep selling us out, as, or maybe even get Mog in charge. We're all. I'm a. I'm a floating voter. Any of you out there are absolutely positive and convinced that one either for Britain or UKIP is the right one? Tell me why. Um, if you've got any comments on this long and rambling speech, uh, yeah, let me have them. Brilliant. Yesterday, I picked up loads more subscribers. I know. I now have got to use. Uh, I can't use my fingers and my toes anymore because I've gone over that. And um, and the amount of people that are responding and chipping in and making comments really, really really great i might even get to the point where i i can't respond to everything because there'd be too many and uh that'd be amazing anyway so if you like this one subscribe thumbs up all that stuff and i'll see you soon